idol at kabayan, good news! Dahil sa mga high-tech na mga military hardware ng bansang Israel, nagawa nitong pabagsakin ang isang attack drone na galing mismo sa isang bansa na sumusuporta sa Hamas upang atakihin din sana ang bansang Israel. Alam niyo ba kung kaninong attack drone ito? Yan ang mga balitang ating pag-uusapan dito lang sa Good News Philippines. I-like ang video, mag-subscribe, mabilis lang ito. Promise! Bago pa mangyari ang ceasefire ng Israel at Hamas o Palestine, si Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu ay pinasalamatan ang bansang Germany, Slovakia, Czech Republic sa pagsuporta sa bansang Israel noong ikadalawampu ng Mayo 2021. Marami ang nagtatanong at mga kurukuro kung sino ba talaga ang sumusuporta at sa likod ng Hamas para lumaban sa Israel. Pero sa puntong ito, merong isang bagay na daladala si Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu na kung saan ay ipinaliwanan niya ito sa mga delegado ng mga bansa na ang bagay na ito ay hindi basta-basta at ito ang patunay na sinusuportahan nito ang Hamas o Palestine fighters laban sa Israel. Ang bagay na hawak ni Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu ay isang arm drone. Tama po ang inyong narinig, mga idol at kabayan, yan ay isang parte ng pakak ng arm drone na kung saan ay na-intercept ng Israel Defense Force sa border ng Jordan at Israel at pinaniniwalaan ng Israeli Defense Force na ito ay posibleng galing sa Iraq o Syria. Ngayon, alam nyo ba kung sino ang may-ari ng naturang arm drone na ito? Wala nang iba pa kundi ang bansang Iran. Ang impormasyon na yan ay galing mismo kay Prime Minister Netanyahu. Ayon sa kanya, hindi lamang sinusuportahan ng Iran ang Hamas, kundi pati sila mismo ay kabahagi ng pag-atake sa Israel. Good news mga idol at kabayan, dahil sa advanced at high-tech talaga ang mga pangdepensa ng Israel, nagawa nitong supilin ang ganitong mga banta laban sa kanilang bansa upang mapanatili ang kayusan at sigurasyon sa bawat mamamayan. Ito ang isa sa mga kakayahan na dapat taglayin ng Pilipinas upang protektahan ang mga mamamayan at ang ating bayan. Pakinggan natin ang mga pahayag ni Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, I just had a very productive meeting with uh, Minister uh, Maas from uh, Germany uh, expressed our support for uh, the unwavering position of Germany in supporting our right of self-defense uh, and it comes from the heart not only representing the government but the people of Israel in uh, our time of uh, need, so thank you. Uh, I described during our meeting that uh, while we're fighting on various fronts, the true backer of uh, much of this aggression is Iran. Iran not only supports completely the uh, Islamic Jihad in Gaza and gives them all the financing, they also give weapons to uh, Hamas as well as to Hezbollah and uh, they, they provide the scaffolding on which these organizations uh, really work. Uh, while we were engaged in these hostilities uh, a few days ago, Iran sent an armed drone uh, to Israel from Iraq or from Syria. Iranian forces launched a drone, armed drone, which our forces intercepted uh, on the border between Israel and Jordan. Uh, and that, I think, tells, says everything on uh, the true patron of terror in the Middle East and uh, in the world, Iran. I understand. Thank you. Thank you very much. And you've been you've been uh, a great friend, and uh, it's said uh, with gratitude from the people of Israel. Thank you very much. You can count on me, and you can count on us. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think we can shake hands, even though you know, COVID is uh, <laughs> under control. Thank you. Now thank you. Mr. Korchuk, thank you for coming here for uh, solidarity that uh, you've expressed and your government has expressed. We appreciate it deeply. I brought you something. Wow. This is. Uh, a wing wow. of an armed drone from uh, drone, from uh, dispatched by Iranian forces to Israel from uh, either Iraq or Syria through Jordan. We intercepted it uh, in the Israeli-Jordanian border, uh, and this is happening. This happened a few days ago during this whole fighting. So it's just to say that we, there is a, a patron of all this terrorism uh, that supports Hamas, supports Islamic Jihad in Gaza, supports Hezbollah, and seeks to. Um, uh, attack Israel and destroy Israel, and that is Iran. Uh, I know you're aware of that, but I wanted to uh, give you a visible expression. Thank you. Thank uh, you. We, we can't let you take it back. <laughs> no, I thought I would take it with me. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I, I, I'm honored to be received by the Prime Minister. I'm bringing a message of friendship and solidarity from Slovakia. I will repeat what I said when we started today in Petar Tikva. And I said in Slovakia there is a saying, a friend in need. Uh, is a true friend indeed, and this is how we see it, because Israel is in need, 
we see no other choice for Israel but to protect its citizens against Hamas, and this is what I, what I'm bringing from from Slovakia, Mr. Prime Minister. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please. Uh, well, I want to welcome you. Uh, I think the Czech Republic has been incredibly uh, supportive and friendly. We have no better friends in Europe, and we appreciate the. Uh, the support, the expression of support, the flying of the Israeli flag or government building, uh, the positions uh, expressed by both uh, President Zeman and uh, uh, Prime Minister Babich uh, and, and so many of the Czech people, and we're, we're very, very grateful. Thank you. Well, thank you, Prime Minister, for such kind words, and, you know, it's good to be here, and it's good to be here among friends. Indeed, thank you. Thank you. Please. Ah, well, I brought you a present. This is... Uh, we are engaged with uh, Hamas and Islamic Jihad, but the support for Hamas and Islamic Jihad comes from Iran. If you take away Iranian support, both of them would collapse in two weeks. Uh, and this is uh, a wing of an armed drone that we intercepted, from uh, fired by Iranian forces from either Iraq or Syria through Jordan. We intercepted this in uh, the border of uh, Jordan and Israel, uh, in a kibbutz actually, uh, a few days ago, during the fighting. So Iran not only supports these various terrorist proxies, it actually engages itself in armed attacks against Israel. And uh, here's, here's proof. But I can't give it to you. I'll just show it to you. Matapos ang ceasefire, nagpahayag ng kanyang talumpati si Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu na hindi ang Israel ang nagpasimuno o nagsimula ng hidwaan na ito. Ang paglunsad ng 40,000 rockets sa kapital at syudad ng Israel ayon sa kanya ay walang bansa na pwedeng isang tabi ang ganitong klaseng kasamaan. Pero ang nakakabilib na binitawan ni Prime Minister Netanyahu na ginawa ng Israel ang lahat upang maging maingat at maiwasan na maraming mga sibilyan ang madamay ayon pa sa kanya Walang army sa buong mundo ang makakagawa ng ganito kundi ang army ng Israel lamang. Napasalamat din ang Israel Prime Minister kay President Biden sa pagsuporta nito sa Israel at sa pagdagdag ng mga Iron Dome Missile Defense System upang mailigtas ang mga mamamayan ng Israel. Israel didn't initiate this conflict. We were attacked in an unprovoked manner by the Hamas terrorist organization that fired 4,000 rockets into our capital and into our cities. No country will sit aside when it's attacked in such a criminal fashion. Israel is no different. But we did do something different. We were fighting terrorists who are hiding among civilians in one of the most densely populated places on earth. They were firing rockets on our civilians while using their civilians as human shields. We did everything in our power to prevent civilian casualties, unnecessary casualties of non-combatants while trying to attack the combatants who are trying to murder our citizens. We regret every loss of life, but I can tell you categorically, there is no army in the world that acts in a more moral fashion than the army of Israel. I want to thank President Joe Biden, a friend of many years, who stood by Israel throughout this conflict. He expressed clearly, unreservedly, America's support for Israel's right of self-defense. And I am also grateful to President Biden for offering to uh, help replenish our stocks of missile interceptors. That's so important to saving Israeli lives and coincidentally Palestinian lives. Without Iron Dome, we would have uh, had to have a ground invasion of Gaza to stop the firing of missiles and the casualty list would have soared to stratospheric heights. So thank you, President Biden. And thank you too for the many leaders around the world who have stood by Israel. They know how to distinguish so clearly between a democracy that cherishes life in a terrorist organization that glorifies death. I think that distinction and that support is crucial for our common future. Thank you. Laban Pinas.